it seems that Qatar is host not just to the World Cup games but also to business, political and even geopolitical developments on the sidelines with ministers, royalty, other prominent figures apparently making deals in the desert. Our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report. Take a look. Despite criticism of Qatar's human rights record, particularly on migrant workers and LGBTQ people, and suggestions that Qatar has reportedly been coordinating with Iran to deter support for the protests against the Islamic Republic, this doesn't appear to have stopped a successful start to the World Cup. While several Israeli reporters have commented on hostility from some football fans, notably from some Arab countries, even those that have signed peace agreements with Israel, they have also pointed out that this hasn't come from official Qatari sources. With just under three weeks to go until the final, it remains open season at the World Cup, both on and off the pitch. This is Jodie Cohen for We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.